Hey guys, we thought we'd start off our YouTube channel with a box opening, and where better to do it than Dominaria. So we've just arrived today, and we're going to get it opened up. In a moment. Get rid of that and drum roll. Here's the first pack. The Eldest Reborn. Love the artwork on that one. Uh, board the Weather Lights. Whispering Blood Litigist, Liturgist, and Red Shade. And a pretty, pretty island. I love the fact that there's so many legendary creatures in this set from the uncommon spots and stuff like that, so you've got some real commander options. <laughs> Graham is currently shouting at our volunteers because they sure. are talking. Let's have a look. Thorn Elemental. Ooh, Dampening Sphere. That's going to be oh, stupidly God. powerful in some games. And we've got Teferi, Planeswalker. Hey. Can you read out what he does? His plus one is draw a card at the beginning of the next end step. Uh, untap two lands. And then minus three, put target non-land permanent into its owner's library, third from the top. And then his minus eight, his alt, is you get an emblem with whenever you draw a card, exile target the Target permanent and opponent controls. Uh, it's a nice control. It's a nice control. I'm not convinced though. I mean, considering it's got blue in, I was expecting something, I don't know, a little bit more dirty. I like the. But it is exile target three. permanent. You can get rid of their lands. Uh, that's true. That is true. Okie dokie. Be good in a deck where you're getting lots of draw power. Howling Mine, anyone? Ooh. Ooh, and we got a Foil Academy Journey Mage. Mm. Commons, we have got Dauntless Bodyguard, Settle the Scot. That's beautiful artwork, isn't it? I mean, Liliana's art is always lovely. Like Macabre Waltz, that I quite enjoyed. Uh, legendary Creature is Ghana the Blood Flow. I love the new borders on these, especially for the jewel colours. They're really pretty. Yeah, yeah. they work really well. Ooh, Cabal Stronghold. I need this. No, you don't. Yes, it'll go with my Cabal Coffers. <laughs> Some of Yeah. I just I like the sagas. I like the just this little section of art. It's just very pretty. Ooh. Groon the Lonely Groon King. Lonely King. I can see a lot of commander decks being built around him. Yeah. Um oh the fall of Thran as well. I love the artwork on that one as well. So pretty. Um we can go there. A 
Knight of Grace. Mm -hmm. White Knight. Hexproof from black. Yeah. Oh, my green white. That's going to be divine. Uh, Joy was familiar. In bolus clutches. See, Liliana and the artwork. She always has such good artwork. Ooh. Which is basically Manhau Monikan. Yeah. That is absolutely ridiculous. You know Charlie's going to have this like, just all over the place. It's going to be horrendous. The wizard is the button under your control, and it causes a triggered ability. You trigger it a second time. Yeah, W E T B. Can you imagine if you've got that out with Panharmonicon? <laughs> I mean, Commander, a fair few people play Panharmonicon in an ETB deck, so you can just imagine that it's hmm. just going to be horrendous. The Shield of the Realm. Yeah. Wild well Onslaught. Oh, hello. I got that in my pre release pack, and it's so pretty. The artwork really is pretty on these. Uh, We've got a Hintland Harbour. Yeah. Or the new Czechlands. And I like the fact that it doesn't come in tapped as well. Just for me, I mean... Only if you control the person on an island. Yeah, but you wouldn't be playing it if you only controlled planes, would you? Apologies for the noises in the background. We are a working cafe. <laughs> and we do have customers. Okay. Champion of the Flame. Oh, board the Weatherlight again. Okay, okay. Oh, Wizards Lightning. Wizards Lightning. Response to Wizards Retort. Talk our family card. Lovely card. Uh -huh. Oh, and we've got a foil. <gasps> Ooh. Ariel, Knight of Wind Grace. I like it. Two and a white, tap it. You get a 2-2 two, two white knight. Always good, considering knights usually give knights other things. One black, tap X. Untapped knight you control. Destroy target creature with power X or less. That is absolutely insane. like it. It'll go very well with a white weenie's deck or anything mm -hmm. you've got to sack off. Oh no, it's just tapping knights, so you need some knight tokens. Yeah. But Easily white does done. that really well, though. Yeah. Mm, let's have a look. See, lovely artwork again. They've done, oh, oh. The gayest unicorn in the world. <laughs> uh, this Tome. Uh, diligent Excavator. Oh, see, the new borders. I just like them. Ooh, Daring Archaeologist. That is a brilliant card. Ooh, when Daring Archaeologist enters the battlefield, you may return target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. Whenever you cast a historic spell, put plus one, plus one on this. And remember that oh, historic spells are artifacts, legendaries, and sagas. Can you imagine in an artifact, white artifact deck? That is going to get ridiculous. Or in my Scarecrow's thing. deck. That is true. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that's just not right. Um, and one more. See, I even like the. They've got slight little. It's just nice. The foiling on the packets. Yeah. Yeah. It's a nice step in the right direction. It is. <sighs> Pretty. Um, ooh. Flame of Cold. Cold. We haven't got this one, have we? I didn't no. get it in my pre-release. Uh, um, and uh, fungal plots. Uh, see, it's just so pretty. Oh, Frank's the inscriptions. Mythic. Mm -hmm, very nice. Plus one, plus one. Destroy all non-artifact. Oh, that needs to go into your Scarecrow deck. Okay. So it's a plus one, plus one counter on up to one target creature, and it becomes an artifact in addition, <laughs> and then destroy all non-artifact creatures. Yeah. It's third turn. You exile cards from all opponents' graveyards. You wanted to play with your graveyard? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh. Ooh, Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. 
It's Return a new sorcery. Yeah. Now that's a new type of sorcery we've yeah. got. But you can only play legendary sorcery if you control a legendary creature or planeswalker. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit of a downside to them, but they're usually quite powerful for what they do. Return all legendary permanent cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. So straight away you've got all of your big hitters straight back on the battlefield, ready to swing. Well, if you can give them haste. Oh, another foil. Um, when Gitu Chronicle enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return target instant or sorcery from your graveyard to your hand. Hmm. That's delightful. Now, if only that was a legendary creature and you could mm. get back. <laughs> <sighs> a legendary sorcery. Juggernaut. It's an old card coming back. Ah, oh, Goblin Barrage. That's it. Yep, another legendary creature. Ooh. With Flash. Yeah. Nice. And Helm of the Host. Yeah. That is going to be broken in so many Commander decks. Mm -hmm. Let you copy the a target creature at the beginning of your upkeeps, is it? Yeah. Yep. Beginning of combat each turn, you yep. make a copy. But the legendary rule does not exist. <laughs> And it gains haste. The token gains haste. That is vile on so many levels. Is there a second Krenko? Oh, no, 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 no. Then a third Krenko, no. then a fourth Krenko. <laughs> oh, God. The swarms of goblins is real. Mm -hmm. Triumph of Gerard. Um, lingering Phantom. Ooh. Oh, Forebearer's Blade. Nice. Plus three, plus odd. Vigilance and trample. Whenever it dies, you attach that to a different creature. Um, go over there. Not a bad little collection so far. No. The card quality in these sets is... Don't know if it's improved so much, but the... Cards do feel glossier and nicer. Oh, very nice. Oh, Oath, Oath of Teferi. Teferi. You can activate all of your planeswalkers one more time. Mm. Is that what Oath of Teferi does? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, dear. Precognition field. You may look at the top card of your library. You may cast the top card of your library if it's an instant or sorcery. You pay three to get rid of the top card of your library. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Um, Goblin Chain Whirler. When Goblin Chain Whirler enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to each opponent and each creature and planeswalker they control. Very, Very nice. Very nice. Getting some really good goblin cards in this, this set. That with the uh, Conjurer's Closet. Mmm. <laughs> Juggernaut again, we've got that Curator's Ward. Ooh, don't be a cast of Paragon. Ooh. Druidic Vow. Okie dokie. Look at the top X cards of your library. You may put any number of land and or legendary permanent cards with converted mana cost X or less from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest into your graveyard. Nice. And Wind Grace Acolyte is our foil. It's quite pretty, that actually. Oh, 
Carolyn Golan. <sighs> the name of my card is splendid. Ah, oh, settle the score. Oh, the five colour commander. Oh, lovely. We wanted him. Well, I wanted him. I don't know about anybody else. You may pay one of each colour rather than the mana cost for the spells you cast. Mm -hmm. Eldrazi decks are going to love it. Mm hmm. There's so many cards that cost seven to ten. If you can just pay one of each in a five colour deck, it's value right there. Yeah. There we go. Icy Manipulator. Brilliant card. Uh -huh. Waste Memory. Oh, another legendary creature. Oh, Artifact Creature Assembly Worker. Nice. Mishra Self Replicator. I liked the look of that one. This is one of you cast a historic spell. Remember that is an artifact, a legendary, or a saga. You may pay an additional one colourless, and if you do, you create a token that's a copy of Mishra's self-replicator. And then they just start doubling and stack doubling and, and doubling. Stack and stack until you've got 12 million of them. As long as you have the mana. Gideon's Reproach. Deals four damage to target attacking or blocking creature. Beautiful artwork again, but I am a white player, so white green. And we're about halfway through the deck. Yeah. The pack, even. Box. Gayest unicorn in the world. Um, oh, Seal Away. I quite like that. Cast down. Oh, Jaira. Weatherlight Captain. Legendary. Yeah, whenever you cast a historic spell, draw a card. Pretty nice. Cheap for. No, no, that's a mythic. Oh, it's a mythic, yeah. It's because it's a legendary creature. Ah. <laughs> Make it a commander pile. Right. <laughs> oh, dampening sphere. Dampening sphere. Orcish vandal. Slime oh, foot the so stowaway. I haven't seen this one, but again, very, very nice artwork. Oh, and it's a gym. Nice. Oh, plus one plus all for each basic island you control. Very nice indeed. Um, and oh, the mending of Dominaria. I like that. Very pretty. Nice and foil. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're encroaching. Soothsayer. Very nice. Oh, another item in a bit. Ah, some frailies. Oh. Oh, a vampire. Kazaroff the Sengir Pureblood. Whenever a creature and opponent controls is dealt damage. Nice. Very, very nice. Let's read it out. Whenever a creature and opponent controls is dealt damage, put a plus one, plus one counter. On Kazarov, Sengir Pure Blood. And then it's three generic and one red. Kazarov deals two damage to target creature. That's not so good, not in Commander, but. Well, it is. It's whenever he's dealt damage, he gets a plus one plus one counter. So he's buying his own counters. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, I cannot open these packs. Is blessing, fly fist adept. Ooh, nice. Ergros, the empty one. Ooh, a gilded, and a gilded lotus. lotus. I haven't seen one of these. Oh, I need this. Um, <laughs> you tap it, add three mana of any one color. Very nice. I'm just going so many decks. Uh huh. Marwyn the Nurturer, 
whenever another elf enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Marwyn the Nurturer. Then you tap her to add her, yeah her, an amount of green equal to Marwyn's power. That's delightful. Mm-hmm. So how are your pack openings going, guys? And just down in the comments, tell us if you've pulled anything good. What do you think of the new set? Ah, Chain is Torment. Oh. Ah, oh, Sylvian Awakening. Until your next turn, all land you control become 2-2 two -two elemental creatures with reach, indestructible and haste, and they are still lands. Nice. Bit of a weakness if somebody has a destroy all creatures board wipe. But, but they're still lands. Do they they are creatures destroyed? in addition, they get destroyed. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, curated ward again. Oh, memorial set. Ah, oh, see, pretty, pretty borders. Oh, siege gang commander. Uh, when Siege Gang Commander enters the battlefield, create three 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens. A generic and a red. Sacrifice a goblin. Siege Gang Commander deals two damage to any target. Oh, that could be nice. Oh. My piles have fallen over, sorry. Okay. And he's gone in the wrong one. Oh, Sanctum Spirit. Very familiar. Time of Ice. It's just, they're just pretty cut. Ooh, Varric's Blade Wing. Another mythic. Yeah. Kicker 3 has flying. When Varric's Blade Wing enters the battlefield, if it was kick, create Karox Blade Wing, a legendary 4 4 red dragon creature token with flying. So potentially seven, you're getting two four four flyers. Mm. You can throw that. Oh, he has to go in the mythics, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oops. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, cast down. Oh, heck. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, Max. Um, oh, another angel artificer this time. And, oh, the Antiquities War. That's nice. Again, sagas. I just like the side art on sagas. The first two turns are look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Then three, the third turn on it, is artifacts you control become artifact creatures with base power and toughness 5-5 five, five until end of turn. That is lovely. Oh, again, I like that. Ooh. Jay is emulating Inferno. Yeah, legendary sorcery. And Jay is emulating Inferno, deals X damage to each of up to three targets. Nice. Mm. Near the end, six, seven left, I think. Then. Phantom, Yargor, Gwotna, Verborg. Ooh! Vanilish Marshal. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. It's a knight. Pretty good. Yeah, go there. Ah, and Fire Elemental. Mm. There we go. The fighting on this set's really nice. It is. It is. They do feel better. Mm, still slightly dandy. That's okay. 
So don't leave them out in the sun. Or the air. <laughs> and if you seal them away, they'll probably be burned. Gravity. It's gravity, that's what does it. Um, oh, Sarah Angel. Yeah. The original. Yeah. A little bit outdated now, but still an iconic card. Oh, hello again. Ooh. I, I need this. It's another mythic. <laughs> it is Moldrofa. Is it? The, the Grave, Grave Tide. Tide. Um, during each of your turns, you may play up to one permanent card of each permanent type in your graveyard. Perfect on a Git Rod deck. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, that's lovely. Anything that interacts with the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. oh I got Chainless Torment again. It's quite a nice one. Oh, Woodland Cemetery. Black green, that'll go nice with in my git rock. Yeah. And our last four packs. Oh, Spore Swarm. That's why I like put them away. Ah, oh, Goblin War Chief. Memorial to War. Grand Warlord Rada. Nice. Elf Warrior. With haste, whenever one or more creatures you control attack, add that much mana in any combination of red or green. Until end of turn, you don't lose this manner as steps and phases end. Oh, nice. That's that's nice. Letting you ramp quite quickly. Especially with elves. So it's nice that I can do it for red as well as green. Mm -hmm. Oh, elf goblin. That would just <laughs> be absolutely vile. Uh, untamed Carvo. Night of Mice. I've had, I've had the, the curse. That's one I was looking for. Mm, yeah. Ooh, Phantom Portal Gateway. Pay for and tap it, and you may put a historic permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh, Straight out cheating out creatures. <laughs> oh, lovely. Foil Wizard's Retort. I like it. The art on that is gorgeous. It is, and the foiling's really beautiful. The lightning looks absolutely lovely. I don't know whether you can see it, but it does look very nice. I think that's something they've got right this time. Everything is much more vibrant. Ah, Flame of Cold. I don't think we've seen this one yet, but it's quite a nice one again. On Sarah's Wings. Oh, nice. Oh, Jen of the Lamp. Ah. You pay three in a blue and tap an untapped artifact you control rather than play this spell's mana cost. It has flying. <laughs> A five six, that's quite nice. Yes, it is. Okie dokie. Well, got oh, last pack. Okay. I'm Bolus's clutches. Yeah. Nature spiral. Ooh. Oh, the discipline of kicks. Red and force. Oh, at the beginning of each upkeep. Create a 1-1 one, one green sapling creature token. That's well, that's great. it for ours today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for staying till the end. And we will see you in our next video. Thanks. Bye.